A, B, C, D, C, A, D. Hello, friends. Welcome back to our classroom YouTube channel. I have two activities for us to do today from our Investigators Club curriculum. But first, let's do circle time. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. The season is spring. And it is sunny outside today. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Let's sing our months of the year song. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Let's do our shapes. Hexagon. Rectangle. Square. Circle. Triangle. Star. Heart and oval. Let's do our colors. Yellow. And in Spanish we say amarillo. Orange. And in Spanish we say anaranjado. Red. And in Spanish we say rojo. Green. And in Spanish we say Verde. Blue. And in Spanish we say Azul. Pink. And in Spanish we say Rosado. Purple, and in Spanish we say morado. Black, and in Spanish we say negro. White, and in Spanish we say blanco. Good job. So friends. the first activity from the Investigators Club that we are going to do today is called Investigators Look. So as investigators, we have to look carefully for things so we don't miss anything that's important. We don't miss any important information. So I have a globe here, kind of like the globe that JT has. And we are going to take a look at the globe and examine it. 
If you don't have a globe at home, you can look online, pull up a picture uh, on your tablet of a um, picture of a globe. And a globe is just a small model of the Earth. So this is what Earth looks like in a smaller form, okay? Um, so look at the blue parts. All of this blue that you see over here and over here and over here, down here. What do you think the blue parts are showing us? What do you think the blue parts are? If you said water, then you are correct. The blue parts on the globe represent the oceans and the bodies of water that are on the earth. <clears throat> now look at these shapes. You see this big shape right here, this shape right here, even these little shapes within the big shapes. And this shape right here. What do you think the shapes are on the globe? If you said land, then you are right. The shapes on the globe represent the, the land where people live. So we have America here, and we have Africa over here, and there's all different types of shapes that represent different places around the world, South America. So if you have a map of some sort at home, or you have a globe, or you're on your tablet, pull up a picture of the globe and you can um, point to the different areas. Um, and mom and dad, you can also, you know, quiz your child on whether uh, parts of the globe are land versus water. So simple, cool activity um, that shows a little, you know, geography, a little social studies. Um, so we played this game in school where we took the globe, we spun the globe around, and eyes closed, you place your finger on the globe, open your eyes, and you pick land or water. So I landed my finger in, in the water. You can also take this game outside. If you have carpet tiles, you have... Um, even uh, pieces of cardboard or hula hoops. You can um, make little islands in the backyard and you can play land versus water. So the grass can be water and your hula hoop area, or whatever uh, area that you mapped out can be an island. So that'll be your land. And then the grass is wa um, water. So guys, be creative while you're at home. Have fun with it. Um, I know it's tough being at home with a lack of resources and lack of materials and tools, but you can find ways to be creative and still have fun. So the next activity, also from our Investigators Club curriculum, is playing with shadows. So today we are going to investigate shadows. For this activity, all you need is a flashlight. We are going to make shadows close to the wall and far away from the wall. And we're going to see if they are the same or if they're different. <clears throat> Turn off my light. Turn on the flashlight. Okay. What do you think will happen when we hold our hand close to the wall? Hmm. Now, what do you think will happen when we move our hand away from the wall? Will it be the same or will it be different? Let's investigate. So, right here, my hand is close to the wall, and we have a hand puppet, 
right? Now I'm going to move my hand away from the wall and see what happens to the shadow. Pay attention. What happened to my shadow? That's right, he got bigger. Let's see it again. Close to the wall, pretty small, and moving away from the wall, it gets bigger. So you can try this at home with mom and dad. All you need is a flashlight and see what happens when you make a shadow close to the wall and move it far away from the wall and see what happens to your shadow, all right? <clears throat> That's all I have for you guys today in this video. I hope you guys have a great weekend um, it's supposed to be warm and sunny this weekend, so I hope you guys get outside and get some fresh air. Um, but until Monday, so long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. Bye, guys.